Guys, thanks for joining me. I warn you in advance, there's no decent finds in this video, so if you want to see some finds, nip over to Digger Dawns. Today started off in really good spirits, but things started going downhill really fast, and I'll show you why in the video in a minute. It's amazing that when you're out detecting, if your head's not into it, you just can't do nothing right. It's a little bit like dowsing, isn't it? If, you, if you're not in the zone, you're simply not in the zone and you're wasting your time, basically. And that's what's happened to me today. There's a couple of little things which have really thrown me and they've annoyed me and they've been playing on my mind all through the session. And I think that's one of the reasons why I can't connect today. Like I say, started off the day in really great spirits, really looking forward to digging some stuff but it just turned to crap. Today's video's got no theme really, it's literally just a walkabout on my test patch. Um, I've been over this test patch with several different coils and configurations, but I haven't used the 13 by 11 X35 coil yet. Well, I just thought, why not have a walk around and see if I can convert some signals into targets. A little bit of a 50-50 this one, what do you think? Of course, nothing on the screen. It's repeatable this way. Yeah. It's just about there, I think. bit different and it's coming up at 35 on the screen. Really nervous sound, isn't it? Well, it's in my hand. I'm guessing it's another one of those pesky pieces of foil. So much foil over here. But you just never know. That's what it is, look. Can you see that? It's another one of those little tiny coin things we've had on previous videos. So the X35, does like the small stuff. I should say the 13 inch X35 likes the small stuff. Hole filling. Now we shouldn't really have to cover this subject and I don't want to sound patronizing here, but there's some other people detect these fields and their hole filling is absolutely shocking. I spend most of my time filling in their holes as I'm detecting. When we're digging for a target, we don't automatically have to dig a dustbin lid size hole in the turf. Keep it quite clinical, try and dig three sides. As a part of being a responsible detectorist, we must really respect people's land. After all, they're being really good letting us on it, even if we do have to pay per day. Okay, we can't get the perfect hole every time, but just pay that little bit of extra, extra attention on your pinpointing and your digging. Let's find another tile. Now this is a nice signal, got a nice high number and a smooth sound. Have a listen. Eighty one. So it's pretty consistent. A moo tube, could you believe it? And another one, green side down, 
not good. That's what we've got to deal with. There's your hole, not particularly good. And there's your piece of iron on the surface. Look. Maybe they're using one of those brightly colored detectors with uh, coin skip loser mode enabled. There's another one, look, just look at that. Totally, totally unacceptable. This field is beginning to look like the Battle of the Somme. Oh, I can't get my head into this. There's just too much going on around me and it's really, really frustrating me. Okay, that's it guys. I've had enough. So, sorry we haven't found nothing, but that's detecting. Um, like I say, I'm a little bit out of sync because I'm looking around and seeing all these unfilled holes and it's kind of put me put me in a bit of a downer really I'm not I've not got my positive head on and that's what happens when you're detecting you know you need to keep a positive mindset and when there's things going on around you which is quite upsetting really to see another detectorist is leaving holes like this it just throws you well this will certainly go down as a positive in my book of underwhelming achievement so see you soon bye for now